Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have four teams for you for the uh, world event and the faction assault. Um, remember the scoring? The scoring was pretty easy. It's just the, the unicorn or the lion corn or whatever the heck it is. It has a different emblem than the rest. And then pretty much rarity order, right? It was like, um, I don't know, I said it yesterday in the video, but pretty much rarity order after that. So pretty easy, Salamander was the worst, Unicorn was the best, or whatever his name is. But uh, here we go uh, with the teams. Um, remember to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, the first team here is just a Dawnbringer team, I showed this yesterday. I don't put much on the video of this because uh, it's pretty simple. You just make a Dawnbringer team with a half mana start with all yellow troops. Uh, second, hand, second hand thrift store guy here, whatever his name is, sorry. <laughs> I'm good with names today, guys. Secondhand thrift store. He uh, he does like a three by three ex uh, destroy. So he's like one of the only mana generators you have. So I figured, hey, if we if somebody wanted to use Dawnbringer the whole time, they could with that. It would be a little bit of mana generation. Uh, plus, it throws attack to the top and magic to the bottom. Then you have Ubistet there if you have them uh, to clean up if you want to as well. So. Yeah, that's the first team there. Um, not much to say about it other than, hey, make a full yellow team. Use the only mana generator available, available to you. And then if you have Ubistet, throw it on the bottom of the team as well because he's yellow too. I used Bard class, by the way, and a double yellow banner, I think, or a double red because they're all red as well. And yeah, should be pretty easy. Uh, you're going to bury your whole team and everything, so not too bad. Here is the other team I came up with. Said I would come up with a uh, Enderjit and Ubistet team early yesterday morning, because those seemed like the only viable troops. This is a very restrictive um, world event this time. Not just only Raksha, only red Raksha. So it's kind of crazy, and only red weapons. They don't even let you use all the weapons. So I went with um, I went with a uh, Hellclaw Mage. It was a mana generator. Uh, I don't know why I said that the second... Oh, it was the only yellow mana generator, so that's why, for Dawnbringer. But Hellclaw Mage, Fist of Heaven, Indrigit, and uh, Ubistet. And it was working pretty well. Don't want your summoner slash uh, exploder in first slot in case you need to use that summon. Plus the Hellclaw Mage does double damage to burning enemies. And we have a little bit of burning on this team. But your main dam damage source is going to be the two bottom troops there. So our two mana generators are in the front, and our two uh, damage dealers are in the back. You can cast an Androjet first to lower, to put him in range for Ubistet's uh, mechanic that he has, so he can get the kill. And it works pretty well. I mean, there's not much else you could do in this event anyway. Androjet, maybe double Androjet, double Ubistet, something like that. That's pretty much all there is available to you, so... Um, Fist of Heaven here, it's not the greatest thing, but there's no real, like, mana generating weapons from red. Um, that was the best one I could find. It uses Divine, so I made myself a Priest class, right? And, uh, probably use some sort of double red banner, I'm sorry. I showed it. Here, I'll go check real quick for ya. Double red, blue, minus brown is what I used, so, yeah. Basically just getting up that Hellclaw Mage, casting it. Getting up the Fist of Heaven, blowing up the whole board, giving a uh, status effect to your two Divine. You got two Divine on this team, it's not the greatest, but uh, you got to use what you what you have, what you're working with here. Um, if you didn't have Fist of Heaven, then I'd probably suggest just looking at my No 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 team, because uh, Fist of Heaven came in just like three or four months ago, and you should have got it probably. And you're probably not at a high level if you didn't start uh, more than three or four months ago. So, I would go with Fist of Heaven, Hellclaw Mage, uh, Indrigit, and Ubistet. And I've already explained most of it, but Hellclaw Mage has a double damage to burning enemies with skulls. Uh, it makes red and purple. Um, Fist of Heaven blows up yellow, gives a status effect to divine allies, which Ubistet is, and so are you. You made yourself a Priest class. Uh, priest class has like a yellow storm, so we can blow up the yellow. Um... What else? We have a summon in case the Hellclaw Mage dies. Ubistet gets a kill. If it if, if it kills, it gets another kill. And you use Indrigit, which does damage to four random enemies. And heavy, pretty heavy damage. It almost takes care of it by itself sometimes. But it'll set up your Ubistet to uh, get its kill. So make sure you cast uh, the Indrigit first. 
All right, here's the third team. This is the no, no, no. It was pretty difficult. Um, I think you would use this team early and then maybe throw a Tigraki on it for late. Since Tigraki does true damage based on armor. Well, if you're getting later and later and later and later in this event, um, their armor is going to get higher and higher. So I think Tigraki would get better the further you went. But I would rather use this team early. And it was working just fine and I went pretty deep. And I went to my new account and made sure I had Summer's Fury. Because I didn't want to recommend a weapon that no one would have. And I did have it. And I'm under level 500. And I just started that new account playthrough a couple months ago. So you should have Summer's Fury. I think it's just Red Mastery or completing some kingdom or something like that. It's no, not a hard weapon to get. But Summer's Fury does damage to all enemies. So there you go. That's for spell damage for the metal that we have. And then it makes like six red gems. It's not the greatest, but... It's something, and it's doing damage to all enemies. Then we're using Hellclaw Mage again. You can get that in the Underworld at Indrigit's Palace, or whatever it's called. We're using, um, uh, what's her name there? Man, I'm having trouble with the names today. Half Main is the bottom troop. 75% start, I'm pretty sure. And, um, it's Claw Dancer. Claw Dancer. Claw Dancer, if it gets a kill, it gets an extra turn, which is nice. Um, Hellclaw Mage, I already talked about that. She makes red and purple. We don't care about the purple, but the red's cool. Mixed with the Summer's Fury, that makes six red. You can kind of do a thing with those two together. And then you can do a thing with the other two together. You could you, you could cast Half Main first, who does damage uh, boosted by enemy attack. And it starts with 75% mana, I'm pretty sure. And then you could do the Claw Dancer to, to clean up, who gets an extra turn if it gets a kill. So... I think that works best early for for low-level people, and I think maybe a, throw a Tigraki on there instead of the Claw Dancer, I think. Because half main will get better as, as you get deeper as well, because the enemy will get more attack. It has a nice uh, Swift, I think, 75% start. If it doesn't, I know Claw Dancer does for sure. So, whatever, just as necessary. Put a Tigraki on instead of a Claw Dancer later on, I would say, probably. Alright, here is the Faction Assault. I went, I tried to show you something different. Now, I'm going to use Ferocity, most likely. Because I love Ferocity. It's like my favorite team in the game. I don't know why, it just is. Uh, Ferocity, Ferocity, Rage Reaver, Ferocity. That's what I'm going to use. But, um, I decided to show something different, just so you would get to see something different. I uh, went with Mountain Crusher, Gargoyle, Gargoyle, Harpy Mage. And you might not even need that Harpy Mage. You could maybe do um, Mountain Crusher, Gargoyle, Gargoyle, Gargoyle. Uh, the deeper you get, it doesn't like one-shot anymore, but it's still fine. Because you cast your Gargoyle, it also explodes a little bit when you cast it. So it's really good. It's like a budget Ketris, if you don't have Ketris. If you do have Ketris, you could probably use that. Or no, you can't. Sorry, I said that yesterday too, man. Why am I always saying Ketris? I don't even like Ketris that much, and I'm always trying to put it on teams it's not <laughs> available for. Um, but yeah, I would go with Gargoyles. If you don't have Rage Reaver, basically, go with Gargoyles, because you should have all of these troops easily. Um, Mount Crusher you get with Mastery on Brown. Gargoyles, you just go down to Hall of Guardians and throw shards. And Harpy Mage is Stone Song Airy, throw shards. It's easy. But yeah. So I want to say something here at the end. I threw a little like trivia question in the middle of the video yesterday. And somebody gained an MVP point for that. And it was DC United who got the, the question right. I, a spider was crawling on me during the video and I threw it off. And he was the first one to mention it. And only like three people mentioned it. So it was only like 18 minutes in. But hey, put in the comments who won that. So DC won. So put DC in the comments, and the first person to do that today will get an MVP point. And if you're the second or third or fourth, I'll give you like a half a point or something. So like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel, comment below. I'll see you all next time. Peace.